Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the $8,000 needed. Jill is a little bit tense. Buying a shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. I will have a nice day. I will also go to work because I do not have... I have half... A little bit more than half of the funds I need. Welcome back to Let's Play Valhalla. We are going to work. Tuesday, December 20th. Good evening. All right. Ah, uh, hello, Jill. And that cage... I, uh, brought my cat. Oh, <gasps> you brought your cat? Your cat? Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard. I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. One of those is the most offensive thing I've heard all day. Wait, there are no evil on Onyogi here. Onyogi? Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat. Well, that's even better. Hey, Four. Four. So cute. Why did you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know, so I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, uh, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office, please? Sure, he's a bit shy, so... All right, Four, let's go to my office. Just straight away. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, Gil... How come- how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yup. Chief got me a small apartment nearby, something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyway, let's start. They need a housing program? Through work? Whatever, let's go. Time to mix drinks and change lives to sweet, sweet navel-gazing vaporware music. I fucking love this soundtrack. Yo, what's- oh god, it's a corgi. Uh, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you're the part-timer. You're adorable. Yeah! Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early! Shit. The part-timer is here. Huh, he came early. Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Because look at him! He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses! And I- and he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas could be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is- It doesn't matter what your name is, wow. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. Why Rad Shiba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks! Anyway, he- anyways, he will mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in, and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Alright. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. Fuck, I can't just ask what the order was. I'll look very unprofessional. There's a grizzly temple. I don't have that bad of a memory. This one's kind of unbearable. It's used mostly for fans of the movie it was used in. Cool. Here. Wow, this is awful! People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. So what brings a dog like you to talk it, taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Seafar Toy Company? What? No! Don't let me in with those herding supremacists. What? I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to CIRA. CIRA? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save, from th save them from themselves. CIRA is what I love, but damn, is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help funding anything it needs. We want to help CIRA be the best it can be. What do you do at CIRA? Pay for treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds kind of nice. Say, do you have a menu? Something like that, yeah, here. Now let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one coming right up. Fluffy Dream. Fluffy Dream. Well, this one's nice. So why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I could walk all day. 
weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Why did you pick a bar? Uh, on a whim, too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could come, or I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah, about the way you mix stuff, yeah? Is it, hey. It's a cat, a cat. Hey, Four, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat, wanna play? Let's play. Four is not impressed. Didn't dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them unless they're intruders. Huh, you said his name was Four? Hello, Four, let's play. No playing allowed, you'll make a mess. Four, go back to boss's office. That is one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Yeah? All right. I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Uh-huh. Th that voice. Sa <gasps> it's Say! Oh, but she's hurt, but Say! And she's wearing a... A sleeveless tank top, too, but she's hurt, but she got the hair, but she's hurt. What happened to you? Nice seeing you, too. Oh. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. What? How did you manage to slip by the mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I... The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. If you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? The security systems of the bar are top notch and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. My boss? I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First I hear you were at the bank, then I find out you disappeared. And now you show up with all those bandages? Can I turn this on? Yay. Are you fine? What exactly happened at that bank? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow, uh, slow down a bit. Oh my gosh, she's crying. The medications make me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. So sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me though, thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Uh, something sweet without alcohol. Thank God these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the uh, Jill. Please, I want to pay for my drinks. Thank you, because we need the money. I'll take it, I won't be able to char change your mind. Nope, I mean yes, I mean you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol, right? Coming right up. Let's take a girly drink and a sugar rush. Optional Carmentrine, this is perfect. Sugar rush. Optional Carmentrine, all mixed. Success, careful. Yay, this'll help me calm down a bit. So what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drank lots of milk. I was under a rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? N nothing you just sound, uh, cheerful. I'm alive! Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am talking to you, being able to talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine, I'm totally fine. Um, how are things around here? I heard there was a huge, commo huge commotion when the whole thing happened. Sorry, Cat was over here a little bit ago, and she was all everywhere, so like, there's cat hair on everything. I apologize, that's why I keep rubbing my face. <laughs> I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Uh, um, hey Jill, I want another drink. Uh, a bleeding Jane. A bleeding Jane? Uh, bleeding Jane? One Bronson extract, 
three powder delta, and three flannery guide, all blended. Say the name of this drink three times in front of a mirror and you'll look like a fool. All right, here, cheers. <laughs> so how are things inside the bank? <coughs> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through the security, finding safe spots, but then, um, sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, 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 don't worry about it. It's just the analgesic still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. What? She's not fine, but okay. <sighs> That girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that? I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here, I don't know, I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried. I bet she's just still in shock. Yeah. Uh, Gil. Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. All right. Aw, he's so nice. I'll go and take my break now. Dang, we are blasting through these fast! That was only like 13 minutes. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. I will save, though, and we will go from there. It is now safe to keep playing. Why, thank you kindly. I will keep playing. Too much heavy stuff lately. Oh, okay, I guess we'll do this then. Hope everything goes all right. Hey, hey, Jamie. What's up? Uh, Jamie. Ah, uh, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. Are you all right? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. If you say so. Jill, where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Ooh, that's convenient. Four? Four is my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. We're gonna throw in... Five, Carmen Trine. All aged and mixed. Here. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke about giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that? In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns but seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it? Yup, why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as a bounty hunting, as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building, or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you could see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be to one to kill for petty reasons like those. Let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. All right, let's find something bitter, but expensive. Sunshine Cloud is 150, so we're gonna give him Grizzly Temple here. All right, here we go, here. Ah, uh, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. What? He used to eat Bronson Roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronson Roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Ah, uh, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Ugh. Excuse me. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's... it's weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around normal people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, uh, yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. 
Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was kind of like offering a tale to a bored kid, but yeah, I'd like to hear that one. Don't patronize me, though. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. What an edgelord. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide the bloodstains he'd got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch. His information network was the best. Some even joke he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty was the organization, or the last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account before shooting himself. Damn, why hasn't that been made into a movie? So there were no more bounties after that? A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization would actually be a trap? They could get be They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So no, Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that certainly wasn't one, or that certainly was one interesting so story. I'm swapping around the words, I apologize. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. Beer, here. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Jillian does. Or Gillian. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting, though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy is a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I felt- I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talked so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I gotta go. Send my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone. Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I will just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been- has just been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. <laughs> What's up? You still work here? I knew it! Ugh, I mean, quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job and needed to drink badly, and I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you, then? I'll have a Bleeding Jane. On it. Bleeding Jane. Why are we getting Bleeding Janes for everyone? There's no alcohol in it anyway. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions and that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with this cilia, cilia girl on some experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn what to learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just ha so happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no cr traffic jams. That's always a plus, I guess. It's almost because it almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around the let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu crap. 
Even if Zabatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let that get to you. I don't know, I just hate teenagers. It's interesting though. A big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Oh, fuck you. Coming right up. Here. Yeah, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. Hmm. So, where's the red comet? My boss, she. Jill! Or, Jill! Force headed your way. Let's play for. <laughs> Let's play, for let's play. Oh, fuck, I forgot your accent's Boston in. Let's play, for let's play. Oh, a customer, sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here, and a cat? The cat's mine, and his name's Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well-groomed, and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. Nah, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. Wow, you're an asshole. You said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four's as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Now go, play or something. Right! Ah, uh, you're back. What happened with Say? The cat boomer girl picked her up. Oh, that cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear it. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. So you miss Dorothy? Kinda. I don't- I, I kinda want to learn how to play guitar, honestly. This- this... Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Woo, we did it. Oh, sweet. Oh, my total funds. Ah, shoot. Well, we got $1,300, so that's good. So we need $3,000 more. Dear God in heaven, help us. Electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the $8,000 needed. Jill's beer stash is running out. Buy some to prevent her from getting too distracted. I don't have the money. I blew it all on wallpaper. I'm sorry, but cool, whatever. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. What do we have? AE, the augmented eye. Soccer popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer e is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After corruption scandals, the last World Cup fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of pro wrestling industry. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport. People kid it, kicking a ball is boring as shit too. Wow, okay. I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his usual unusual taste for certain rare food. Fried chicken... Yeah. Oh. His confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since it's what people in this city like the most, and even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. Why would you? Monster Girlfriend Chirari becomes the best-selling video game of all time. The waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control. Since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live full-time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut, with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Wow, I don't want to live in this world anymore. Let's see what's on D. Dangerous Opinions, AM Townships. Hype, literally no games. Is anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No, 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 I'm going to marry a Monster Girl. Meh, any info on the hardware is probably going yet. Powered piece of shit. Me, yeah, this thread is closed. Nano camo underwear. I think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. But that's that. All right, we did the thing. Let us save. Whoa, oh, that's a music player. Oh, never mind. I wanted to back up. Save. All right, we are done and good to go on day nine. Woo! 
thank you for tuning into this episode of Let's Play Valhalla. My name's Forma. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Comment that Zay's back and she's okay. And it's well with my soul that she is just that. So thank you for tuning into this episode. Cannot wait for the next one to see what happens. We are so close, so close to making our goal of roughly $3,000 more in order to make the 24th as a deadline. But we have three days left. We have to make this happen, so we're going to sell nothing but expensive drinks. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.